Hello, everyone. My name is An Jia Wang. I come from University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Today, I will represent you our work of using Clang as a front end in Rose compiler. Its work is done in Lawrence Limo National Lab. First, I will give a short introduction to Rose compiler and explain our motivation. Then I will compare Clang and Rose ST. Then I will show you how to convert Clang ST to Rose ST using an example. Rose is an open source compiler to build source-to-source -source program transformation and analysis tools. It takes C and Fortran as input and create a unified AST. It can perform compiler analysis, transformation, and optimization using simple function calls. Clang is one of the most popular compiler framework. However, it has limited source-to-source -source translation support. No and parser can convert Clang ST to compilable source code. Rose can perform such a transformation. However, its C front and EDG is closed source, and EDG does not support OpenMP. This is the architecture of Rose compiler. We already have EDG and Open Fortune parser as front end. Now we are adding Clang as a third option. With the front end, we can generate this unified AST. Then we can unparse new source code from that uh, AST. This is the comparison between Clang and the EDG front end. Unlike EDG, Clang is uh, open source and it can be used freely by any companies and uh, universities. It supports uh, OpenMP very well. This is an example for source to source uh, transformation. Uh, on the left, we have this XPY function. It uses OMP target directive to offload, uh, offload a loop to GPU. On the right side, we have transformed code. First, uh, we create an outlining function, the CUDA kernel. Then inside the CUDA kernel, we can have that uh, uh, actual loop there with uh, lower and upper bound and uh, chunk size and so on. This is a comparison between Clang and Rose ST. Rose ST is mutable, it supports unparsing. We have APIs to create and update the ST nodes. As soon as we use Clan to create a AST node, uh, we cannot modify the information inside that node. But in Rose, we can easily add and modify AST nodes from the tree. However, it requires users to have a back uh, good background knowledge of uh, compiler development. Uh, otherwise, uh, it may generate uh, incorrect uh, code. The working process is uh, first we use Clan to create uh, ST as Euro, and then in Rose, we reverse that ST and uh, uh, convert uh, that uh, AST to Rose ST accordingly. We have designed several uh, interfaces to to convert specific uh, ST nodes. And we use uh, ST consumer and the translator for the conversion. At this point, we already support about uh, one third of uh, Clang 9 ST nodes. And we are working on the upgrade from Clang 9 to Clang 10 for better OpenMP5 support. This is an example for Clang ST and the Rose ST. We can see they both have function declaration and the statement declaration but uh, in Rose, we have uh, more nodes uh, for more information, and uh, we are allowed to change the node and uh, um, change the node and uh, move the node around the tree. This is an example of uh, converting Clang ST to Rose ST. First, we have this uh, function declaration. Then we use Clang to create this function declaration node. Then in Rose, we use uh, the builder functions to traverse the Clang ST node and uh, create a corresponding Rose ST node. For example, the uh, function name, the parameter list, and the uh, returning type, and so on. To sum up, Clang works very well with Rose uh, as a front end. We can use Clang to replace the EDG, and with this integration, Clang can support source to source transformation. In the future, we will upgrade the client 9 to 10 and support all the client ST node. If it's worthwhile, we will also replace the OLP with the FLAN. Thank you very much. Please feel free to leave questions and comments. <laughs>